Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Eric, and today I'm reviewing a card. Probably uh, should review this one sooner because I think it's it's an amazing card. <sighs> Just outright, it's it's an awesome card. And then you add what it can add to a deck. It's it's so good. Today's card is Air of Falcon Wrath. One in a black, it's a 2-1, discard a card, transform, error of Falcon Wrath. Activate this ability only once each turn. So, right off the bat, you can't break down your madness cards like that. You can't go insane with them. She flips over to Air to the Night, a 3-2 flying. That's it. Real straightforward there. The reason why this card is so good is because if you play it on turn 2, turn 3, you can discard uh, any, any card with madness and uh, make it that much cheaper. One thing that I'm kind of hoping to see is something like Gisa's Bidding, where you discard it, you have three land down, and you play a four cost, you get two 2-2 two, two black zombies, and then swing with a 3-2 flying. That seems stupid, good, stupid fun to me. There is also uh, Avacyn's Judgment. I don't think you'd want to play the X right away, but, I mean, you know, if you have to, or... You don't want Nimmer and Scratch that one. You don't want to do that one early. That one you do later. You do have Encourageable Use, though. You, uh, I like that one way more. And it is a vampire, so you discard your Encourageable Use to flip it. Now you have a 3-2 flying. You pay the madness cost. Now you have a 4-3 haste. That's on turn 3. You're swinging for 7. And there's a good chance they don't have anything down yet. Because it's not a fast format. It's not a slow format. But I have seen many games where people don't play something on turn three. And if you get to play it first, I mean, they've only got two turns so far, so it's an even better chance for you. I think it's a really nice card. It's a really awesome card. And I know many people that will first pick it in draft. Now, for my little review, it, the thing is, it's real simple because it's just discard a card to transform it. They, they obviously knew that you could break madness with it quite easily, so you can only discard one card per turn for it, and then you turn it into a 3-2 flying with no other abilities, just a straight 3-2 flying. I think it's awesome. So, for draft, I'm going to give it a 4, because like I said, people first pick this thing over and over again, and nobody will be ashamed to say, oh yeah, I first picked Air of Falcon Wrath. It's, it's a nice card, and even if you're not playing a lot of Madness cards, it's still a nice card, because in turn 3, you just discard whatever garbage is in your hand, swing for 3 in the air. It's awesome. Uh, for standard 3... I think vampires are good. They're not tier one in standard, but I think they're high tier two, and you get to see some people playing them. She's okay in standard. I mean, if you get her down quick enough, you turn three, you get a three two flying, and you can burn down anything they might have in the air. Or if they have nothing in the air, I mean, you can drop encourageable use and have a blocker, or you know, just anything. Like I said, you, geese is bidding. You know, these things can be done, and then with Geese of Bidding, you have two 2-2 two, two zombies to block with. Uh, for Modern, at 2.5, I'm sure somewhere somebody's looking to try to use this in Modern and get a lot out of her ability, or even just having a 2-mana 3-2 flyer. Uh, so I'm not going to give it a poor rating, I'm not going to give it a great rating. I think 2.5 right in the middle, that's fair for Modern. EDH a 1.5, because you're not going to be using this. I think even... EDH vampire decks might look at it and go, eh, I mean, if there's a slot open, maybe, but I don't, I don't think you're going to see it played in EDH, because it's just weird, and it's small, if you could abuse her discarding ability, okay, maybe, maybe that'd be a little bit more of a, of a relevant thing for some combo decks, but yeah, you're, you're not going to see this a lot in EDH, if at all, so, that's what I have to say about Air of Falcon Wrath, you have a different opinion, let me know down below, subscribe to the channel, you get those notifications when I put up the next reviews, and thank you guys for watching, I'll see y'all next time.